Yo, yo, I'm Trigil Chris, and today I wanted to make another tier list because they aren't controversial at all when I make these. <laughs> but it's the end of the year, so I figured I'd remake my old school Cali Pack tier list because, oh my god, is that old original video out of date. Like half of those brands that you'd see in that tier list don't even exist anymore. So we're doing it again, 2021 edition. But before we get into that, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Woody's. Yo, Woody's has some crazy content over on his YouTube channel. You've actually seen him in some of my old videos where we talk about terpenes and about like the science behind everything. But he has some really good shows over on his channel and he's super underrated and I'd love to see him shine. He doesn't even have a thousand subscribers yet. He's almost there, he's on like 600 and something. So if you guys wanna help him get to his first thousand subscribers that would be absolutely amazing the link for him is in the pinned comment down below and you'll be seeing a lot more of Woody on the channel and either collabs and me on his channel as well so make sure you sub over there so you don't miss out on more of my content with him and also remember people supporting the sponsors really really does help support the channel so even just clicking on the link checking out the channel really really does help so thank you guys and Let's get into this video. All right, sweet, we're back in this lovely setting which I haven't seen for a long time and we have a big list here. Yo, I just noticed in editing that Jungle Boys is not on there. I don't know why because I downloaded a picture for them but they are not on there. So uh, just know they probably would have been B tier. And uh, right, we're starting it off with the LAX pack. So the very first time I tried LAX, I didn't actually really like it. I wasn't the biggest fan. I think I actually swapped a pack back for a different one. But every other time I've had them since then, they've been amazing. So I think I'm going to put them in the B tier. If I hadn't had that first experience, I probably would have put them in A. Ah, oh, Dr. Exotics. Now these guys are like the same as LAX, where I've only tried them like a handful of times. But those handful of times every single time has been absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna have to put them in A tier because I don't have a single bad thing to say about them. All right, Tenko. This might be a bit of a controversial one, but I don't actually think they deserve an A spot like a lot of people would because they don't just make Blue Zushi and like all those iconic ones. They do have some other, you know, off kind of weird ones like the sweets, the delights, which just aren't really up to par of like A standard. So because of those like off ones that occasionally aren't too good, I'm gonna have to put them in B. And if they only had those staple ones, probably would have been an A tier. All right, Backpack Boys. This is one of the hardest brands to get like actually legit, but when you do get a legit one, my God, do you know that it's a legit one? Definitely A tier. I don't think there's anyone who's gonna be debating whether Backpack Boys should be an A tier or not. And also guys, let me know in the comments down below if you would have put any of these brands in different slots because I would love to know. Next up, we got Fuel. And I have had a few good things by them. Some kind of mediocre. I think they're probably like a very C tier worthy brand. Like they, they are pretty much the definition of a C tier Cali brand, I think. All right, so Rain Trees is one of those brands which isn't actually like a brand in California. It's like, you know, Loose Cali gets sent over here and then it's branded up in the UK. Uh, but this definitely, definitely A tier because oh my God, every single one I've ever tried has been amazing. I don't think I've ever had a Rain Trees branded ting which hasn't been like some of the best smoke I've ever had. Now Wizard Trees, I don't really know where to put these guys because I've had the American Pie a couple times and I would say like three out of four times it was really good and the fourth time it was like maybe like not the best batch in the world but then all of their collabs with other people are amazing so although i have had one kind of like not so good experience with these trees i think i am actually going to put them in a tier because since they've been doing all the collabs with everyone i haven't really heard a bad thing about them cookies this might be a controversial one as well because i know a lot of people kind of rag on cookies and stuff but Every time I've had like a proper legit bit of cookies, it has been amazing. I, th I feel like personally it would be um, like a disservice to myself to not put it in A tier. Because for me personally, it's always been amazing. And I get that there's a lot of fake cookies packs that go about, but I feel like if you've tried the legit ones, then you know, you, you know. Now Darwin Farms is an iffy one for me because the first time I tried them, I would have put them straight into A tier. Then the second time I tried them, I would have put them in B tier because it was like a bit, I don't know. Then the third time I tried them, I probably would have put them in A tier again. But then the fourth time I tried them, I probably would have put them in C tier because I was like, oh, this is really not what I thought it should have been. And then I feel like it should be in like B tier from like the last time I tried it. So I feel like a healthy middle ground is probably, probably B tier for the Darwin. Actually, you know what? I, I feel like I don't like the Darwin farms being on the same level as the Tenko. I feel like that's not really... I, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh my god, this is a really tough one. Um, I think I'm gonna put it in... 
Oh god. Oh, so this is actually this is the this is one of the hardest ones for sure. I think I'm gonna put it in C tier. Now nah, show money. I I don't know because show money. I always say show money. It's like a 50% chance of whether it's actually gonna be any good. And I feel like a 50% chance is not very good. Even the Fior and the Darwins have more than a 50% chance of being good. So I feel like Sherb Money's probably gonna go in the D tier. Although in the last or last six months, they have been killing it. I haven't had a bad Sherb Money pack in the last six months. And if they keep down, it might go up to the C or the B tier next time. You never know. But I feel like based on my whole experience with Sherb Money ever, I'm probably gonna have to put them in D tier. Cali X. All right, Cali X, where am I putting you? I mean, Cali X, most of the time, their stuff absolutely kills it. Like, it's super, super, super nice. I feel like they should actually go in A tier. Because, uh, like, again, I don't think I've ha ever had a Cali X thing, which that I've known as legit, ever be bad. Ever. Um, I can't think of an experience where I've ever had one where it's been bad. So I feel like it has to be A tier. I feel like there's going to be a lot of A tiers in this. This year for Cali in general with these brands that have been coming about has been really, really good. And I feel like that's why I can quite comfortably make this video right now because when I made the first original Cali pack tier list, there wasn't a lot of faith in Cali. <laughs> but now I feel like there is quite a bit. And speaking of faith in Cali, Nature Boys. Nature Boys, I feel like is also going to have to go straight A tier. Uh, recently, I tried every single Nature Boys pack and every single one was good. <laughs> I didn't have a single one that wasn't burning properly. And every flavor was mad. Even all the new Nature Boys, like the, the proper new ones, like the Jawbreaker, the Van Gogh, uh, the Flumps, like have crazy unique flavors, which I haven't really tasted before, or I feel like I haven't tasted for many, many years. So Nature Boys straight 80, 100%. Major League Exotics. Major League Exotics with the uh, Powered by Mr. Gelati. I have I, I have very mixed opinions about this. I've had very bad batches and I've had very good batches. And you know, when I think of Show of Money, this brand actually comes into my head because I always feel like their quality is on par. Like if I see them on a menu, I always know I'm going in like with a 50% chance of it being good. So Major League Exotics going in D tier. All right, the Rimikusu, the Rimikusu. I've only tried the Rimikusu like twice and I kind of get annoyed with the Rimikusu because I hate the branding. Like, I really hate the idea of them just saying like, oh, we're renaming strains and that's what we're doing, riding the wave. I really don't like that. But in saying that, their bud is fucking amazing. <laughs> so I can't put them anywhere other than A tier because that's what the quality is. I just hate the branding. QC Farms. Now, I know a lot of people are probably gonna think that I'm gonna put QC Farms straight into the A tier. But for me personally, based on my experience, I'm probably gonna put them in B tier because I didn't have the greatest experience with uh, one of the Big Scotty batches. It was kinda not really what I was expecting the quality to be like for QC Farms. And I mean, I like their strain choice, but they really don't have much. I really feel like they could be so much more going for the brand. And I feel like putting them on par with Tenko and, um, and LAX is probably where they should be. We've got the... Uh, Least controversial one in here for Cali, the green trees. <laughs> now, I'm like a lot of other people with uh, the first time I tried some green trees, I did not have a very good uh, experience. I actually ended up lighting a nug on fire on a live stream because it was that dead. <laughs> now, afterwards, I managed to get some other ones, which I was told by green trees themselves that was like, you know, the super dank, and they were the super dank. But I would say even out of those ones, there were still a few that weren't really, that I would say up to par. I wouldn't put them on the level of Sherb Money and Major League Exotics though, because I feel like you have more than a 50% chance of it being good. Um, quite a lot more than 50% actually. I feel like you're probably more at like 70% chance of it being good, maybe the 80%. So I put that as like the same chance as like the Fuel and Darwin Farms for sure. High Volume Exotics, this is kind of a new one on the scene. I hadn't seen them before 2021, but oh my God. Every single one is the dank. I have literally tried every single high volume exotic flavor and every single one is fire. Like unbelievable. Like they can't go anywhere other than A tier. It's not even debatable. All right, and last up, we've probably got this year's favorite based on public opinion. Like I genuinely don't think that any of these brands even come close to the public opinion of Doja. 
Doja have killed it this year. Their, their collabs that they've done, like all of the stuff that they've brought out have completely upped the game. Like they have been in the Cali scene since the beginning and they've only gotten better. It's actually crazy to see a brand that's been about since like the OG Cali times and you know is a brand like Doja that has moved into like the complete legal market and now still kills it. Like so many of those brands that came up during the Doja like era just don't exist anymore <laughs> as evident by my old Cali pack tier list. So yeah, I think they also have to go in A tier, which look at this. These are pretty much all of the Cali brands that I could remember that I've tried this year. I could have just gone into my big pile of Cali packs, but I, I really couldn't be bothered as well. I did ask everyone for suggestions on Instagram and Discord, and I didn't get any suggestions for brands that I had tried. So if there's anything on here that's missing, it's probably because I haven't tried it, or I've just somehow managed to forget and just missed it in everything. So if there's anything you think I have missed, let me know in the comments down below, and I'd also love to know where you would uh, put some of these people on your list, because this time we didn't have a single one in the F tier which is actually crazy because in thinking about it, I feel like there must be some Cali that I've tried this year that would go in F tier. But I guess it's been so forgettable that I just can't even remember. So uh, people, thank you very much for coming to this video. Make sure to check out the sponsor of the day, Woody's down below. And people, I'll see you on a live stream later on today at 9 p.m. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button just down here as well and the notification bell. So uh, yeah, people, I'll see you later on today on Twitch, 9 p.m. in a bit. Peace.